Hello, friends, and welcome to our next chapter of our virtual pilgrimage here to the shrines in our beloved St. Anne's Church in Fall River, Massachusetts. I'm Brian Boyle, co-coordinator of Liturgy and Devotions at Third Order Dominican, and will be your host as we visit with Our Lady here in the Shrine Crypt. Our Lady of Fatima occupies an honored place in the ambulatory of our shrine. While at one time she was in a separate chapel off the nave of the church, she was moved to a more prominent place directly to the rear of the downstairs sanctuary with the statues of Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta surrounding her. By honoring her with a place visually at the foot of the main crucifix of the shrine, we are reminded of both her position as the mother of our savior as well as her presence at the foot of his cross on Good Friday. People around the world have been drawn to Our Lady of Fatima since her first appearance in Portugal on May 13, 1917. The messages, the predictions, the miracles, what are we to make of it? You'll find the key to Fatima is simply seeking to understand Mary's message. It is a message of love, of healing, and a path to incredible happiness. Mary appeared in Fatima every month from May to October 1917. She delivered a series of messages during that time to the three young children, Lucia dos Santos, her cousins Francisco and Jacinta Marto. Every time Mary appeared to the children, she asked them to pray the rosary. Why was that? The rosary is incredibly powerful. It has the power to bring peace, the power to heal, the power to make a difference in your life the lives of your loved ones, and in the world. One of the most important devotions, besides that of the Rosary, which Our Lady always asks for, was the Five First Saturday Devotion. When asked what was the reason, it was explained that it was because of five kinds of offenses and blasphemies against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And these are mainly blasphemies against her Immaculate, her immaculate Conception, against her perpetual virginity, against the divine and spiritual maternity of Mary, blasphemies involving the rejection and dishonoring of her images and the neglect of implanting in the hearts of children a knowledge and love of their blessed mother. The message of Fatima and its spiritual benefits have come down to us unchanged since 1917 at the height of World War I and are just, uh, just as applicable today. Through the subsequent wars and strife of the 20th century, the degradations of political systems into the events of the 21st century, hers is a constant source of encouragement and hope in the promises flowing from God's divine mercy and her intercessions for those who humbly seek her maternal care. St. Anne's is honored to house this singular reminder of our Blessed Mother's love for us, her children. The St. Anne's Shrine Preservation Society is actively working to restore this beloved church and return it to a place of prayer, faith, and pilgrimage. We are the largest votive candle shrine in southern New England and offer an active series of liturgical events meant to fully support our diocesan evangelization efforts. Any contributions made to the society are tax deductible and are earmarked for the exclusive purpose of operating and renovating this historic landmark for the glory of God and His church. Please be as generous as you can and visit our website displayed on the closing slides or like us on our YouTube channel. For the Preservation Society, I'm Brian Boyle. Thank you for visiting and we hope to see you soon at St. Anne's Shrine.